caring for children is just in my very being of how I am. And I, I think I was just born loving, caring for other people. I was brought up in a family where I was given a lot of love and care. The way that I was raised is, you know, you do good for others and it feels good to help others and to serve others. So that's something that is just integrated in my life and, you know, what, how I live my life every day without even thinking about it. So I naturally over time became a babysitter and then a childcare worker and then a teacher and just slowly transformed into who I am today. I'm a mum. <laughs> Ultimately, I'm a mum and I've got three boys and that's my life now. When I was young, I had a chat to my now husband about, you know, the possibility of doing foster care and that was something that was always going to be important to me. And after we'd had our first child, we decided to become foster carers and we have um, my oldest son, um, who's our biological son, and um, he came along early in our marriage when we decided to have children. I had the heart of knowing that we wanted to do foster care and to have some children through a different means. So we went along to a Lutheran Care Information Night and there was no turning back. We, we decided that we wanted to sign up and, and start the process and there was um, there was no pressure to have to become foster carers overnight. It was a gradual process and we wanted to commit but also just explore it one, one step at a time. And we found that the staff were just really welcoming and open and honest with us. We, we wanted to know clear information so we could make decisions as a family. There was no hesitation or question about what we wanted to do because they gave us every opportunity to think about the decisions that we make as foster carers. Yeah, so we finished our training and um, uh, took on our first son, who, who is now eight years old. Uh, and then uh, we did a little bit of emergency care and some respite care for various families. Um, often it was through Lutheran Care and other community members of Lutheran Care, other families. Uh, and eventually we um, had a phone call one night um, for our five-year-old son now saying, would you take this little boy in just for an emergency situation? And we said we would take him in for a short time. And often is the case, you fall in love with your children and he ended up just staying and growing on us each and every day and became part of our family very quickly. And um, now he's also long-term. It makes no difference whether they're foster children or not. They're all our children and we love them all uniquely. Um, but we're really thankful for having our very full and busy household. When we were told that we could actually get approved to become specialist carers, we were told there would be a process involved. But it wasn't as difficult as what we were worried it would be. You actually get a lot more support and a lot more training and just overall, it just makes your life a heck of a lot easier when you can have better support to help these kids that have got a lot of needs. I was able to choose to stop working. Um, I was a teacher before and I loved my job. Working with children is partly why I became a foster carer. Is I've always loved working with children in all sorts of capacities. being allowed to have that financial support, but also the services, the supports that are available through Lutheran Care and being a specialist carer, we are able to just fully focus on our family. And that to me was a huge blessing. It was a choice, but I absolutely was thrilled to be able to make that and have that freedom to be able to do that. One thing that separates Lutheran Care from maybe some other agencies and other communities um, for us has been the experience of being part of this village or community uh, where people are genuinely banding together to raise all these children and it's just brilliant. If you're having a bad day, often you get a knock at the door from another foster carer and they've got some flowers that they've picked from the garden or if something tough has happened, you know, something in your family or something that is, you're struggling with, you often will get a knock at the door and someone's brought you a casserole that they've baked for you because they know that you're too busy to go and cook something that day. So I think those things are just priceless. I would just encourage 
everyone who's possibly thinking and considering to become a, a foster carer one day, just go and have a conversation with Lutheran Care because you might your world just might change. Like, you know, you might actually be able to make a difference in one little person's life or maybe more. I've never regretted it. I'm so thankful and I'm so blessed for my children that are in our care. Yeah, so that's just what makes us really happy and that's what parenting is about to bring these little people up to be the best selves that they can be and that's what makes you happy as a parent so as a mum yeah